Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little overalls or dungarees for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. Now you can easily make them smaller or bigger, I'd say from a newborn size and up to four years old. Down here in the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make them smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, to make these little overalls, this is the yarn that I used. I used DK weight yarn, but you can also use any number three yarn or eight ply. In total, I used about 147 grams for the three to six month size. I used about 122 grams in blue and about 25 grams in white. Now, you will need less or more depending on the size that you're making and your tension, so please keep that in mind. Now, make sure to comment below and let me know if you want me to make the matching little coat to go with these little overalls. I'll see what I can do. Now, let's get started, and thanks so much for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3mm crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. I used DK weight, but you can also use number 3 or A ply. At the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using, and I told you how much yarn I used for the size that I'm making. So here, to continue, I have 86 chains. This chain here, without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 15.75 inches, which is about 40 centimeters. Now, if you're off by 1 or 2 centimeters, it's okay. Okay, just continue with the first row. So here, to start with the first row, into the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, into this fourth chain here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now, these three chains here counts as one double crochet, so I have two in total, I am going to make eight. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's three. four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight double crochets, including the three chains, two, four, six, eight. Now into the next chain, I'm going to make my first corner. So in this row, the corners are going to consist of V stitches. So make a double crochet, two chains, and then one double crochet into this same chain. Now into the next 24 chains, I'm going to make one double crochet. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. Now continue until you have 24 double crochets. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 24 double crochets. Now this here is one of the sleeves. Now into the next chain here, make the second corner. So make a V-stitch, double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Now into the next 16 chains, we're going to make one double crochet. This here is going to be the front or the back. So I'm going to make 16 double crochets. Finish, I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 16 double crochets. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now into the next chain, we're going to make our third corner. So make your V stitch. Double crochet two chains double crochet now into the next 24 chains i'm going to make one double crochet so beginning into the next chain make your first double crochet and continue until you have 24 double crochets this is going to be the second sleeve i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these 24 double crochets for the second sleeve now into the next chain here make the fourth corner so make a v-stitch now i have eight chains left so make one double crochet on each one of these chains until we finish this first row i will meet you at the end 
I finished making these last eight double crochets. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 88 double crochets, including the double crochets for the corners and the three chains here at the beginning. So that's a total of 88 double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now this chain never counts as a stitch. Here to begin the second row into the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now I'm going to make single crochets on each one of these double crochets, but I'm going to go through the back loop only. So into the next, make a single crochet, into the next, and so on. Here, let's see, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I have the first corner into this chain two space and into each one of the remaining corners, you're going to make two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. Now make sure to put a stitch marker here. And now continue along and do the same thing for these double crochets. So beginning into this next double crochet through the back loop, right there, make a single crochet and into each one of these double crochets until you come to the second corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing I did. Two single crochets, two chains, two single crochets and continue along and do the same thing for each corner until you finish the second row. I will meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the second row, here at the end into the third chain, I did my last single crochet. At the end of the second row, I have a total of 104 single crochets. From here on, we're going to be increasing 16 stitches at the end of each row, because on each corner we make four stitches, so four times four, that's 16. Now for the third row, I'm going to chain two and turn. These two chains do not count. In this row, I'm going to start with a double crochet on top of the first single crochet. And from here on, I'm going to work a double crochet, but I'm going to go through the back loop only until I come to the first corner. So here I have, that's three, Eleven double crochets. Remove this stitch marker and into this chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now, here you can easily see the chain two space here of this corner, but I'm going to still continue putting my stitch marker right there. Now this is how you're going to work each one of the corners and for the single crochets in between, you're just going to work one double crochet through the back loop only like this until you come to the next corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing on each one. Now at the end of this third row, you should have a total of 120 double crochets. So I will meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 120 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain one and turn. In this fourth row, we're going to make single crochet. So beginning on top of the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now into the remaining double crochets, I'm going to make single crochets, but I'm going to go through the back loop only until I come to the first corner. So here I have four, Thirteen single crochets now into this corner and into each one of the corners you're just going to work two single crochets two chains two single crochets and then continue on making single crochets through the back loop of each one of these double crochets 
and then do the same thing on each corner. Don't forget to return your stitch marker here to mark the center of this corner. Now at the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 136 single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have a total of 136 single crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make double crochet. So beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops, make a double crochet. Now into these remaining single crochets through the back loop, I'm going to make a double crochet until I come to the first corner. So here I have four double crochets. Fifteen double crochets. Now we have the first corner. Remove your stitch marker and into this chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And this is how you're going to work each corner from here on as well. Now continue and work one double crochet through the back loop of each one of these single crochets until you come to the next corner where you're just going to do exactly the same thing that I did here in this corner. At the end of this fifth row, you should have a total of 152 double crochets. I will meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have a total of 152 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain one and turn, beginning on top of the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now into each one of these remaining double crochets through the back loop only, make a single crochet until you come to the first corner. So here I have four single crochets. Seventeen single crochets. Here's the first corner. Remove the stitch marker into this chain two space. Make two single crochets, two chains, two single crochets. And this is how you're going to work each one of the corners. And then for the double crochets, you're just going to continue and do the same thing. A single crochet through the back loop of each one of these double crochets until you finish this sixth row. At the end of this sixth row, you're going to have a total of 168 single crochets. Continue, I will meet you at the end. Okay, I finished making row six, and if you notice, I have changed yarn color. The yoke that you have been watching is this one here for this little uh, romper or overalls that I showed you already in my channel. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you the link. This one has a matching little coat as well, so I'll leave both links in the information box below. But here, the yoke, it's exactly the same. At the end of the sixth row, you should have had 168 single crochets. Now, let me tell you how many stitches you have for each section. For each one of the front panels, you should have 19 single crochets, so 19 and 19. And for each one of the sleeves, there are 46 single crochets, so 46 and 46. And for the back side, I have 38 single crochets. Now we're going to divide the sleeves. Oh, before I continue, this part here is measuring about two inches, which is about five centimeters. So here we're going to continue and divide the sleeves so to do this, I'm going to chain two and turn. This here is going to be row one because we're going to divide the sleeve. So we're going to start counting rows again. So here to begin on top of this first single crochet, make a double crochet. Now into each one of these single crochets through the back loop only, make a double crochet. I'm going to continue with the same pattern here. So continue make one double crochet for each one of these 19 single crochets. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the first sleeve. I finished making these 19 double crochets for this front panel. Now into this first corner, make three double crochets. There. Now for this front panel, you should have 22 double crochets to divide the first sleeve chain 
seven. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you want to add more chains here to add to the chest measurement, you can. So now we're going to skip these 46 single crochets for the sleeve and into the second corner here, make three double crochets. Now continue along making one double crochet through the back loop of each one of these single crochets. Here we have 38. So continue, finish these stitches. I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve. I finished making these double crochets for the back side and I went ahead and did three double crochets into this third corner. For the back side, you should have a total of 44 double crochets, including the, the three that we did on both of these corners. Now to divide the second sleeve, I am going to chain seven. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Now skip these 46 double crochets and into the fourth corner make three double crochets. Now continue along and finish making these last 19 double crochets through the back loop only of these single crochets. I will meet you at the end of this first row. I finished making these double crochets for this second front panel. I finished the first row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 102 stitches. Now, each one of the front panels, there are 22 stitches, and for the back side, I have 44. And under each sleeve, I have seven chains. So that's a total of 102 stitches at the end of this first row. Now, for the second row, this is what we're going to do. We're going to change yarn color, or at least I am. I'm going to make this here in two colors. So we're going to be alternating color every two rows. So I'm going to use this white yarn here. So don't cut your yarn. Instead, just join the new color like this. Grab a loop, pull this loop, the blue one, and now chain one. If you're not changing yarn color, then just chain one and turn. Now here, Beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now remember that the first single crochet and the last single crochet of the row, I always go through both loops. For the stitches in between, I'm going to go th through the back loop only. Now continue. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work these stitches under the sleeves. I finished making these single crochets for the front panel here. I have 22 single crochets. Now we have the seven chains under the sleeve into the first, second, and third chain. I'm going to make a single crochet. Now into the fourth chain, which is the middle stitch here, I'm going to make two single crochets. So here I'm going to increase one stitch. Now into the fifth, sixth, and seventh chain, just make one single crochet. And you're going to do exactly the same thing for the second sleeve. So here are eight single crochets now under the sleeve. Now for the back side, you're just going to make one single crochet for each one of these 44 double crochets until you come here under the second sleeve where you're going to do exactly the same thing that I did here. Into the first, second, and third chain, one single crochet, into the fourth, two single crochets, then into the fifth, sixth, and seventh chain, one single crochet, and then continue along and finish the second front panel. At the end of the second row, you should have a total of 104 single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished the second row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 104 single crochets. In this row, I've increased two stitches, one stitch under each sleeve. So you should have a total of 104 single crochets at the end of this second row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now remember that these two chains never count as a stitch. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet and through the back loop of each one of these remaining single crochets, make a double crochet. We're not going to increase anymore. I have the measurement that I need for the chest, for the size that I'm making. So all we're going to do from here on is just repeat 
a row of single crochets and a row of double crochets and then change yarn color every two rows. So continue like this for the third row. I will meet you here at the end to show you once again how to start and how to finish each row from here on. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did double crochets. I have a total of 104 double crochets. Now for rows four and five, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of single crochets and the row of double crochets, and we're going to change yarn color here. So I'm going to grab a loop here with the blue yarn, pull this loop here. Now chain one, turn, and right on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now, don't worry about this yarn here. Once we finish uh, and we start making the front panels, we're going to make single crochets along this part here so you won't be able to see it. So don't worry about that. So into each one of these single crochets through the back loop, we're going to make a single crochet into each one of these remaining double crochets here. Now this is all we're going to do until you come here to the end of the row. Here at the end, you're going to make your last single crochet on top of the last double crochet. Then you're going to chain two, turn, and then repeat the row double crochets. And that's all we're going to do from here on, like I said. So we're just going to repeat these two rows and every two rows we're going to be changing yarn color. So that's how I'm going to continue for mine. Now continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do for mine. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the body. I have done a total of 29 rows, counting from this first row where we divided the sleeve up to the last row, which is a row of double crochets. I have 29 rows and it's measuring from under the sleeve to the end here of the last row. It's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches. Now, if you notice, I only did four changes here where I changed yarn color. It was taking me too long to do the changes, so I decided to just continue with one color. You can continue in the same way where you just change color every two rows or do it as I did. So I only did one, two, three, four, four color changes. So here, to continue, we're going to work on the front panels here. With this here facing me, this will be the left side, so we're going to go right here on this side. Make sure that you're on the right side also, the right side, the good side that you're going to see. This here is going to be the inside and that's how it looks. Okay, so here to continue, we're going to go along here the very edge. I forgot to mention that at the end of row 29, which is a row of double crochets, I cut my yarn and just passed my yarn through that last loop. So we're going to go right here on top of the last double crochet and I'm going to grab a loop. I'm going to change yarn color. If you're not going to change yarn color, then just chain one and then make three single crochets into this double crochet, which is what I'm going to do. So here, I'm going to chain one first and right on top of this same double crochet, make a single crochet and right into the space here, make two more so that here at the beginning, I have three single crochets. One, two, three. Now, we have the next row, which is a row single crochet, so make one there, and then the row of double crochets from here on, make two. Then we have the single crochet row again, make one, and then at the end of the double crochet row, make two. And that's how you're going to continue. One, two, one, two, one, two, all the way to the top. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this front panel. I have a total of 55 single crochets. Now, if you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. The important thing is that when you do the other side, make sure that you make the same number of single crochets. I have 55. So now for the second row, I'm going to chain one and turn. Now beginning on top of this first single crochet, make a half double crochet right on top. Now into the next one, work a front post half double crochet, into the next back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet, and into the next back post half double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this second row of the front panel. Just alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet. Now I'll continue, I'll meet you here at the end of the second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. Now to finish here on top of the last single crochet, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finished the second row. I have a total of 
55 half double crochets for the second row now for the third row chain one and turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet now we're going to work these stitches exactly how they are so the next stitch is a back post so make a back post half double crochet the next one make a front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next and so on this is all we're going to do here for this third row front post and back post half double crochets now if you have a hard time making front post and back post half double crochets then what you can do is just one or two rows here of half double crochets don't do front post or back post just do half double crochets for both rows and it should still look nice so that would be another option if you wish to do it that way okay so continue i'll meet you here at the end of the third row i'm here at the end of this third row now here at the end to finish just go on top of the last half double crochet and make a half double crochet and here is the third row with 55 half double crochets as well now we're going to continue along the neckline and do the same thing so here we're going to chain one into this last half double crochet space here of the third row make a half double crochet now into the next row here of the front panel make a half double crochet and into the first row here of the single crochet row make a half double crochet so here you should have three half double crochets because we had three rows for the front panel now we have the double crochets here along the neckline here we're going to do the same thing as we did for the front panel we have the first double crochet make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on this is all I'm going to do all around the neckline front post and back post half double crochet into each one of these double crochets here's the first corner and then just continue with the same thing front post and back post half double crochets now continue like this all around the neckline i will meet you right here at the end to show you how we're going to work the second front panel okay i'm here at the end of the neckline now into this last stitch here which are the three chains right on top of the third chain make a half double crochet now at the end of this row that we did all around the neckline i have 90 half double crochets and again if you have one or two stitches less or more here around the neckline it's okay now we're going to continue and make the second front panel and we're going to do exactly the same thing we did uh, for the first front panel so we're going to do the first row of single crochet so i'm going to start you off here and then you're going to continue with the rest so chain one and right into this last half double crochet that i did make one single crochet now here at the end i have these chains make two then we have the row single crochet make one and here at the end of double crochets make two then one again then two then one this part here is exactly the same thing how we did the first row for the first front panel now you're going to continue like this until you come to the end for me i'm going to make sure that i have 55 single crochets which is the same number of single crochets that i had for the first front panel and then i'm going to chain one turn and then repeat the same thing i did for rows two and three of the first front panel so continue finish this second front panel and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making the second front panel i finished here with the third row now here at the end i cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop so this part here is done now if you notice i did not add any buttonholes because the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets are big enough for buttons to fit through continue watching i will let you know what size buttons i am going to use but normally i use 12 11 12 even 13 millimeter size but I'll let you know at the end what size buttons I use and how many. Now, this here is for little boys, but if you want to make it for little girls, you can. The only thing is that when you join here, make sure that this front panel, the first one that we did, 
is on top of the second front panel because this is where you're going to attach your buttons for girls and this is where the buttonholes are going to go for boys is the opposite so we're going to put ours like this so now we're going to continue here with the body I'm going to do a couple more rows before I separate for the legs. So this is going to be the continuation of the body. So my last row here was row 29, so this is going to be row 30. So to continue here, the next row needs to be worked from the wrong side. It's the row of single crochets. So with the blue yarn here, I am going to go into the first front panel, and I'm going to go into the row of single crochets right here. This is where we did the first single crochet. And I'm going to insert my hook through the half double crochet that I did for the second front panel. That's the third row. So now grab this loop here, bring it through, chain one. Now go back into these same stitches and make a single crochet. There. Now we're joined, at least this side is. We need to join the other side once we finish the row. So here to continue, we have the next stitch. And here the next stitch is actually the same stitch where we did the first row single crochets for the first uh, front panel. So right on top of that stitch, through the back loop, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Here we're going to work these 104 stitches that we have in the same way so through the back loop just make a single crochet so that we can continue with the pattern like this all around I will meet you here at the end of this 30th row to show you how we're going to work this little section here and then continue on with the next row so I will meet you here at the end Okay, I'm here at the end of the 30th row. Up to here, I have a total of 105 stitches. I'm counting this first stitch that we did where we joined. So one stitch plus 104, that's 105 stitches here at the end of this row. Now, I need to make three more stitches here so that here in the middle, this part here, I have four stitches more. So to do this here, I'm going to go here through the back panel this back panel here and through the single crochet row so now grab a loop here and make a single crochet now insert your hook into the next row and through the next row make a single crochet and here I'm going to make one more so that I finish this part here with 108 single crochets now to finish go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch now this row is done and this is how it looks now make sure to look here and see how it looks i think it looks fine um we're going to hide all of these ends once it's done so let me pull this end here and then we're going to hide all the other ends so I think that looks pretty good. And now chain two and turn. So here for row 31, we're going to work one double crochet through the back loop only of each one of these single crochets. Again, I'm continuing with the pattern where we do one row single crochet and then one row double crochet through the back loop and that's all we're going to do for row 31. continue like this all around i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of row 31. this is where i did double crochets all around i have a total of 108 double crochets at the end of this row now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and here is row 31 with 108 stitches all around now we're going to divide the legs so this is how i want you to place your stitch markers we're going to mark six double crochets here for the front we have two four six the two chains do not count and then you're going to count 48 stitches for this leg and then for the back side you're going to count six stitches for the crotch area and then for the second leg again 48 stitches so we have six for the front six for the back 
and each leg has 48 double crochets. So to do this next row where we divide here are the legs, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to chain two and turn. Now I have these next two double crochets here. So on top of each one, make a double crochet. There, I have two double crochets, the two chains do not count. Now to divide the legs, chain one. You can add more chains if you want to add to the measurement here of the legs. For the size that I'm making, this is plenty, just one chain, but you can add more. There is no multiple. So now skip 48 double crochets and into the double crochet after the stitch marker right here, which is the first one here of the six, make a double crochet and into each one also make a double crochet. And here I am going through both loops. There, I have six double crochets here for the back, two, four, six. Now to divide the second leg, chain one, skip 48 double crochets, and into the double crochet after the stitch marker, make a double crochet. So here I have four double crochets left, so make one double crochet there as well. That's three and four. So here I have six double crochets for the front, six double crochets for the back, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. There. Now here's the crotch here. This is how we have divided. We have six and six. Now with this here upside down like this, we're going to go to the left side and we're going to go right here where we have this chain that we did. We're going to work this leg first. So insert your hook into this chain space. Now grab a loop here, bring it through, chain one. Now make sure to leave a nice little tail here because there is going to be a small gap left here. All you're going to do is just join these stitches here together to close that gap. Now this first row for the first leg is going to be worked from the wrong side out. So here I chained one and right into the same space here make a single crochet. Now into this double crochet of the crutch here make a single crochet also. So right into the space there make a single crochet. Now we have the first double crochet here of the 48 so into the back loop of this first double crochet, make a single crochet through the back loop only. And this row is going to consist of single crochets and we're going to continue with the pattern. So one single crochet on each double crochet through the back loop only. There, continue like this all around for this first row of the first leg. I will meet you right here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this row. I'm here at the end of this first row for the first leg. Now up to here, I have 50 single crochets. We had 48 for the legs, and then I added these two here at the beginning, so that's 50 single crochets. Now to finish, we're going to go right here. We have this double crochet that's part of the crutch area here, and right into this double crochet space, we're going to make a single crochet. So now I have 51 single crochets. To finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here is the first row for the first leg with 51 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. Now in this row, I'm going to decrease at the beginning and at the end, we're going to decrease two stitches. So here at the beginning, I'm going to decrease the first stitch. So we're going to work a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into this next single crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, and I'm going through both loops. Grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Here's the double crochet decrease. Now into the remaining single crochets through the back loop, make a double crochet all around until you come to the last two single crochets. So right about here. Continue, I will meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. 
I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where I did double crochets. Here at the beginning, we did a double crochet decrease, so we have decreased one stitch here at the beginning. I'm left with two stitches here at the end, and here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make another double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch here, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now I have 49 double crochets all around. Remember the two chains never count. Now to finish the second row, go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. And here is the second row with 49 double crochets. Now before I continue with the third row, one thing, if you don't want to make these decreases, you can just continue with the 51 stitches that we originally had. Um, it's up to you. That's going to add to the measurement here to the legs. If you have a baby with wider legs then by all means you can continue with 51 stitches or even add more stitches here uh, when we chain one when we divide it for the crutch that would be up to you it's an easy adjustment to make the legs wider for the size that I'm making uh, the 49 stitches is what I need so now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn in this row we're going to work single crochets and beginning into this first stitch here make a single crochet through the back loop and into each one of the remaining double crochets, one single crochet through the back loop only. Continue, I'll meet you here at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did single crochets. Now up to here, I have 49 single crochets to finish. Always go on top of the first single crochet through both loops and join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, we're going to repeat this single crochet row, which is the third row, and the fourth row, which is the row of double crochets. So for the fourth row, you chain two and turn. And on each one of these single crochets through the back loop only, you're going to make a double crochet into each one of the single crochets all around. Now to finish this row of double crochets, all you're going to do is just go on top of the first double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, turn, and then repeat the row of single crochets. And that's how you're going to continue for the rest here of the leg. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the leg. Now, I have done a total of 16 rows. So from here where we divided the legs up to here, there's 16 rows. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. The last row that I did was a row of double crochets. Now for row 17, we're going to chain one. We're not going to turn or anything. Here we're going to make three single crochets. One, two, three. And here you can go through both loops. Now into these next two, we're going to make a single crochet decrease. So insert your hook into the first one, insert your hook into the next one, three loops on the hook, close. Now again, make three single crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two, make your single crochet decrease. Again, make three single crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two, make a single crochet decrease. And that's how we're going to continue for this 17th row. Now, you can make the leg longer, for the size that I'm making this for, I think it's fine. We still need to make the bottom part here. I still have about two more inches left here. So uh, that would be up to you. There is no stitch multiple. There's no number of rows that you need to have. You can make this part here longer. That would be up to you. So continue, finish the 17th row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this 17th row. This is where I did single crochets all around and we worked some decreases. Now up to here, I have a total of 36 stitches. Here's my last decrease and I still have four stitches left. Now this is how we're going to work these last stitches. Into the next two, I'm going to make a single crochet. So that's 37, 
38. Now into these last two, I'm going to make a single crochet decrease. So insert your hook, grab a loop into the next, grab a loop, three loops close. So now I'm left with 39 single crochets at the end of this 17th row. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now I've cut my yarn, so pass your yarn through this last loop. And now I'm going to switch to the white yarn here to do the bottom part of the pants. So here, insert your hook back into the same stitch that you joined, which is the first single crochet. Now grab a loop here, bring it through, chain one, and right into this same stitch make a half double crochet. Now for this 18th row, all we're going to do is one half double crochet on each single crochet so that when you finish the 18th row, you are left with 39 half double crochets. Now continue like this all around. I will meet you at the end of this 18th row. I'm here at the end of the 18th row. This is where I did half double crochets all around. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the 18th row with a total of 39 stitches. Now for row 19, we're going to chain one. To begin here, we're going to make a front post half double crochet into this first half double crochet. Now into the next, make a back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet, into the next back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. Now this is how we're going to continue for this 19th row. You're just going to make front post and back post half double crochets. Now to finish this row, you're going to go here on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. You're going to work these stitches exactly how they are. This first stitch is a front post, so you're going to make a front post half double crochet, then back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, and so on. And that's how you're going to continue for the rest. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. I finished making the bottom part here of the leg. I did a total of three rows of front post and back post half double crochet. So we did the row of single crochets. That was row number 17. Then we did row 18 where we did half double crochets all around. Then I did row 19, 20, and 21 in front post and back post half double crochet. So the leg is all done. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing how we did this part here, here for the second leg. I'm going to start you off. So right here where we have this chain, this chain is part of the crutch area here. I'm going to insert my hook there and I'm going to grab a loop here. This single crochet row that I'm going to work next is going to be worked on the wrong side. So chain one here and right into the same space here, make a single crochet. Now we have this double crochet that's part of the crutch here. So into this double crochet space, make a single crochet. Now I have the first double crochet out of the 48 that we left for the leg. So here make a single crochet, but make sure you go through the back loop. And from here on, this is what we're going to do. One single crochet for each double crochet all around and make sure you go through the back loop. Continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end of this first row for the second leg. I'm here at the end of this first row for the second leg. Now up to here I have 50 single crochets, including these two that I added at the beginning. So now to finish, we're going to go here. We have this double crochet that's part of the center part here, the crutch. We're going to go into this space here and make a single crochet. Now I have 51 single crochets. To finish, just go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here is the first row for the second leg with 51 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now in the second row, we're going to make a decrease at the beginning and at the end. So yarn over, insert your hook into this next single crochet, grab a loop, 
take two loops off. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, and I'm going through both loops. Grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Here's the double crochet decrease. Now continue all around, just making one double crochet for each single crochet, and make sure you go through the back loop until you come here to the end, here at the end, into these last two single crochets, I'm going to make a double crochet decrease as well. So continue, I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. This is for the second leg. Now I have my last two stitches here. We're going to make a double crochet decrease. So insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row with 49 stitches. From here on, we're always going to have 49 stitches. Now for the third row, we're going to chain one and turn. In the third row, we're going to work single crochets. So beginning into the next single crochet here, insert your hook and make your first single crochet through the back loop of each one of these double crochets. At the end of this third row, we're going to have 49 single crochets. Then to finish, you're just going to join here to the beginning on top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch, chain two, turn, and then you're going to work the row of double crochets where you do one double crochet through the back loop of each single crochet all around and at the end of that row you're going to have 49. From here on it's exactly how we did the first leg. You're going to do this part for 16 rows and then in row 17 that's where we do the decreases and then for row 18 we do a row of half double crochets all around and then three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. You can rewind the video and just go back to um, this part here where we did the first leg so that you can see exactly how it's done. But from here on, I'm sure you can manage how to do this, uh, the second leg. So continue, finish, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the second leg. I did it exactly in the same way how I showed you how to do it here. Now the legs are done and we're almost done with these little overalls. So now let me show you how to join this um, gap here. So we're going to go here on the inside and here I told you to leave a nice long tail because we were going to join this part here. So. We're going to join it like this. Make sure that each stitch corresponds with one another. So with a crochet hook or with a needle, you can just go stitch by stitch on this side and on this side and join. But I'm going to do it with a crochet hook. So to do this, I'm going to go into this first stitch on this side and I'm going to go into this stitch here on this other side. I'm going to grab a loop here, bring it through, chain one. Now into the next two, so one on this side and the next one on this side. Insert your hook, grab a loop, and make a slip stitch. Again, go into the next two stitches, grab a loop, and make a slip stitch. Into the next two, slip stitch, slip stitch and the last two there slip stitch pass your yarn through this last loop and this part here is done all we have to do is just hide our ends and let me show you how it looks there perfect that's how it looks so that part is done there it is now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this row here that I did around this sleeve. So we're going to go right here, right in the middle. Remember here we added seven stitches. So right into the middle here so that I have three on this side and three on this side. Grab this loop, bring it through, chain one, and right into this same stitch here make a single crochet. Now into these next three, make a single crochet. 
there. I have four single crochets here. Now we have this double crochet right there. Make a single crochet into that double crochet space. And now go into the corner here, make a single crochet. So here I have six single crochets, two, four, six. Now we have the first single crochet here of the sleeve. And here we're going to begin with a front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on this is how we're going to work these stitches all around the sleeve like this so continue making front post and back post half double crochets all around the sleeve. I will meet you here at this end to show you how we're going to finish this row. Now again, if you have a hard time making front post and back post half double crochets, then what you can do is just do a row of single crochets or do a row of chains. Um, that would be up to you. In this tutorial here, I did chains. I did, let's see, I did two chains, then a slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch all around. So continue, I'll meet you here at the end of this row. I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. Now up to here I have a total of 52 stitches. If you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. Now here what we're going to do to finish this part is I'm going to go into this double crochet space and make a single crochet. And right here into this corner make another one. So that's 52, 53, 54, plus three more, 55, 56, 57 stitches for this row. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop and the sleeve is done. And that's how it looks. So you're going to repeat the same thing for this side. It's done exactly in the same way. So these little overalls are all done. Look how cute they are. Now all you need to do is just hide your ends. I already did for mine, and as you can see, I already went ahead and attached my buttons. I went ahead and used four buttons. Now these buttons are 12 millimeter size. You can also use 11, 12, or 13. I'm using 12 millimeter size. Now, as far as buttonholes, the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets is what I'm using as buttonholes. So that's what I did here. So now let me give you the finished measurements. Okay, so let's start with the total length from the top of the shoulder to the end here of the leg. It's measuring about 49 centimeters, which is about 19.25 inches. From the middle here of the crutch up to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 15 centimeters, which is about six inches. From under the sleeve to the end here of the leg, it's measuring about 37 centimeters, which is about 14.5 inches. Now, from the middle here of the neckline to the crutch area here, it's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. And the chest measurement, chest the top, it's measuring about 25.5 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. So based on these measurements, these little overalls are for baby boys and girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make them smaller or bigger, I'd say from a newborn size and up to four years old. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. So these little overalls are done. I already have another version of these little overalls, this one here. This one is using the crystal wave stitch pattern. These have a matching little coat or a little jacket that go with it, so stay tuned. I will also do the same for this one here. I'll go ahead and make a little coat to match these little overalls, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.